back. So we do have partly cloudy skies outside right now. Still a lot of smoke in the atmosphere. Outside in Scotts Bluff, after reaching a high near 90 today, we are down to 84 degrees. With that wind east-southeast around 13 miles per hour, continuing to pump in that warm air. Really not a lot of humidity in the atmosphere. That dew point is still at 40. Visibility is at 8 miles. Now, here's a look at the temperatures across the region. So most of us in the panhandle into the mid to maybe even some upper 80s, with the exception of Harrison, which is at 80 degrees. Now, as we make your way into portions of southeastern Wyoming, temperatures from Pine Bluffs out towards Cheyenne near 80, but Laramie is at 72 degrees. More clouds out in that direction. Now, winds mainly from a southerly, southeasterly direction. Uh, most of us have winds right now 10 to 20 miles per hour, breezier conditions in our far western counties. As for the weather alerts, nothing in the panhandle, but as you make your way up and down the I-25 corridor, uh, we do have uh, red flag warnings. They do expire at 7 p.m. And then we also have in the same area, southeastern Wyoming down toward Fort Collins, an air quality warning uh, because of the smoke that does go all the way until 1 p.m. on tomorrow. Now, let's take a look at the satellite loop. We do have just that band of clouds moving off to the east. So from Alliance and east of that, we do have a lot of sunshine, partly cloudy skies in Scotts Bluff, mostly cloudy skies to make your way further west and west of Laramie. And here's the beginning of the rain that's going to make its way through as we go through the week. It will be a slow mover, so we do have some moisture chance. It take a little while to get here, but we are starting to cloud up ahead of our next system. This high pressure system is exiting. Uh, we're in a really big warm sector. This low will We'll move off to our north. This frontal boundary is already producing moisture into the Rockies, and that will be our next weather maker as we go through time. So going through the evening, we'll continue to cloud up. Mostly cloudy skies, still a southeasterly wind. So temperatures this evening into the upper 60s, mid to upper 50s to start off the day tomorrow with all those clouds. And then as we go through Wednesday, we will have mostly cloudy skies. Panhandle has about a 20% chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Most of the moisture is going to be into portions of southeastern Wyoming. And then as we go through the day on Thursday, our rain chances will increase. We actually could be uh, starting off the days with clear skies, and that's why temperatures are starting off in the low to mid 50s. But as we go through the daytime heating on these days, we do have an increase in the clouds and a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. This is Thursday. Temperatures are also going to be on their way down with highs only near 80. So on the wide maps, this low mo does move off to the north, and most of the moisture stays north with it. But this cold front will set up over us. So uh, late Wednesday through all the way through Saturday, we do have almost daily chances of showers and storms with cooler, uh, with a cooler northerly flow, we'll say. So mostly cloudy skies tonight, slightly mild. Temperatures falling back into the mid to upper 50s. Should be into the upper 40s for average lows this time of year. So we're above that. For the day tomorrow, still warm, mostly cloudy. Some isolated showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Temperatures into the mid to upper 80s. And then as we go through the day on Thursday, partly cloudy skies. Uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms in the evening as temperatures fall back into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. And then as we go through the day on Friday, another 40% chance of some storms, mainly in the evening, a high of 80. And then 85 on Saturday, just a slight chance of some showers and storms before we really start to dry out Sunday and Monday and warm up. Upper 80s to near 90, and then 75 on Tuesday, partly cloudy skies with another slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Angel? Thanks, Justin. The calendar might say September, but for lots of people, holiday shopping is already.